I'm going to give you something to think about for your trading. This could be the difference between whether you become a consistently profitable trader or fail fabulously. I'm Mike Bellafuri, and we're one of the top proprietary trading firms located in New York City and proud to develop numerous seven and even eight figure per year traders. We hope you agree. This is the top YouTube channel to help you grow your trading account. What if you thought about your trading career differently? Almost all developing traders, new traders, beginning traders, stress over whether I can become a profitable trader. Can I become a consistently profitable trader? Am I good enough to be a successful trader? Do I have what it takes? What do I need to become a successful trader? What do I need to do better to achieve my goals? What do I need to work on harder? What do I need to learn that I haven't? What do I need to change about my trading psychology to hold my winners longer? What do I need to change to stop taking those trades I shouldn't be making? What strategies do I need to master to make more money? You may have noticed a pattern here. I, 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 I. And then if you underperform, you start to wonder what's wrong with me that I'm not making more? What's wrong with me that I can't seem to make money on that breakout trade? What's wrong with me that I missed that trade? What's wrong with me that I didn't see that Tesla long and, and predicted it was going up 20%? What's wrong with me that I made 500 on that trade and others made 50,000. What's wrong with me that I can't build a profitable automated strategy? What's wrong with me that I don't have filters to alert me to the semis which are totally on fire? Me, 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 me. I, 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 and me, 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 me. That's a ton of pressure for you to be putting on yourself for your trading career. That's a ton of pressure for you to be putting on yourself when you're just starting out in your trading career. And look, this is a hard job. Being a successful trader is one of the hardest things that people can try and do. You're making things as hard as possible on yourself in one of the hardest things there is to do instead of perhaps thinking differently. And so what if you stop thinking of your trading journey in terms of I and me? What if you thought of your trading journey in a completely different way? And what if I told you that you should? That thinking in terms of I and me may be the reason you're not as good as you wanna be that it's the reason you're not as good as you deserve to be. Well, I have an important message for you. And this message comes from my experience, our experience running a proprietary trading desk since 2005, a proprietary trading firm that's focused on building brand spanking new traders into consistently profitable traders. And as we mentioned, much better. And this focus is why we've been so successful as a trading firm. Look, there's, there's different models out there to run a proprietary trading firm. We could have focused on hiring experienced traders, giving them a bunch of money, giving them a platform and partnering with them. You know, we could have searched for people who are already making money that just need some capital and a home and a place where people would treat them fairly and, and grow it from there. But we didn't. We decided to focus, and not by the way, that that's such an easy business to run either, but we decided to focus on building brand spanking new traders from scratch into consistently profitable traders and then better. 
that is a, a large part of our business model. We do have experienced traders who we do find who fit our culture, but most of the P&L that comes from our desk is coming from, you know, a, a great, 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 great majority of it is coming from people that we've taught from the beginning, out of college, who became consistently profitable, and then better. So we, we say that with, uh, with some experience. Now, we're a proprietary trading firm that's proud to develop seven and even eight figure a year traders from scratch and rely on that as a business model. Okay, so what if you thought about your trading career completely differently? And, and let me give you something to think about. What if you thought about your trading career instead of I and me, but rather what if you thought about your trading career as we and us? How did we trade that breakout trade in the video? How did we trade that negative news catalyst in the regional banks? How did we trade that momentum opportunity in the AI names? How did we do with our automated model that looks for triple earnings beats? What if instead of trading alone, you were part of a trading team or a trading pod? What if mastering that breakout trade was up to the team or the trading pod and you were a member of that team an important member of that team, a contributing member of that team searching for a solution. The whole game didn't rely on you. You were responsible for helping we and us succeed. In a Forbes article titled, Four Lessons Learned from Training Successful Traders that I co-authored with Dr. Steenbarger and the co-founder of SMB Capital, Steve Spencer, we wrote, Hedge fund titan Kenneth Griffin of Citadel said, frankly, you can't succeed in today's markets unless you're part of a great team. We agree. So let's take that breakout trade above that we talked about for which you haven't yet mastered. What if you were responsible for building alerts for your team that identified the best breakout trades? What if you performed back tests identifying the best breakout trades? What if you executed the trades for a senior trader who was responsible for deciding when to pull the trigger on a breakout trade? And the team pooled its talents and traded together. And your success depended not on I and me, but rather we and us. There are some advantages of we and us. It's more fun to trade together. We have a trader on our desk, Swang. He's a multiple eight figure a year trader. Very proud to have watched him develop from recent college graduate into consistently profitable trader and then multiple eight figure a year earner. And, you know, Swang today, he has more fun making money in his joint accounts, those are accounts he's trading together with junior traders, then in his personal trading. And the amount of money that he's making in his joint accounts is not comparable in any means to what he's making in his personal trading. But he's having so much fun in his joint accounts. You have strengths and you have weaknesses. Your team allows you to bank more on your strengths. Maybe you can't execute in real time that well, but you're a great researcher. If you were a solo trader, you'd be forced out of the markets. In a team, you could have a long and prosperous career being a great researcher. I sit across from a trader who just finished two intraday models. He's been on his headset talking to his team members for the past month working on this model. I've been, been hearing him chirping away with, with his guys. Now he has two models to run daily, two intraday models to run daily to increase his P&L. There's no way he participates in these models if left entirely up to him. No way. He wouldn't have the skills to engineer this model. But 
with his teammates. He made an important contribution to a very promising model that now three traders can share in the profits. You'll learn more. You're learning from other members of the team. You're learning from more people. You're learning better as the team members are sticking to their expertise and strength and what you're learning from them will be better knowledge. It's easier to survive the learning curve. As you're coming up the curve, you can lean on the trading prowess of a senior trader to carry you more. If you make a contribution to a talented trader, he or she will make more and you're gonna be able to contribute in that P&L. And this is something I really want you to think about. And, and this is a reality to trading. It's a reality to when you start as a trader. It's, it's almost a rite of passage. During bad times, and often those tend to be at the beginning, there are other people you can lean on. Going through what you're going through or senior traders who've gone through what you're going through to help you navigate these challenging times. Lots of times, the only people who really understand what it's like to be a trader are traders or people that were, had already come up the curve like you. It, it's, it's a unique experience and tapping into the experience or sharing that with people going through these very challenging times and uh, but exciting times together can be super helpful psychologically, intellectually, and financially. There are more paths to becoming a successful trader. Maybe you're gonna be that great researcher. Maybe you will be a coder. Maybe you will build models. Maybe you will generate the best trading ideas. Maybe you will help execute the trading ideas of others better. That's a lot more paths than just being the person who pushes the buttons and makes all the decisions by themselves in a silo how to implement the trading of we and us as an independent trader. People ask this a lot of people like myself who work at a prop firm. All right, Mike, you, you work at a prop firm. You started a prop firm and people at prop firms have all these other people that they can tap into to help them. There's all these other people that they can join teams with. There's all these resources at a proprietary trading firm, but I'm an independent trader. I'm sitting alone. And I'm not sure really how to create my own team. I'm not sure how to go about doing that. So, you know, great for you to sit in New York City in that fancy building that you guys trade in on Fifth Avenue. But, you know, I'm in a different spot trying to figure this out by myself. And so the, the first thing I'm trying to help you to understand is don't try and do it by yourself. And so how do you do that as an independent person? Add value to other people. And so... One of the traders on our desk, Sebi, was trading Coinbase recently, and he noticed there was some really strange price action in Coinbase. And he said to the trader on his left, Stephen, hey, are you noticing this weird price action in Coinbase? And the, the day before, there had been that breaking news article that the SEC had sued Binance and Bitcoin had dropped pre precipitously. And so now we've got this crazy price action in Coinbase and Sebi spots it. Sebi's a junior trader, beginning of his career. And he calls it out to Steven, who's a little bit more advanced, probably a step above where Sebi is right now. And then Steven looks at it and he calls it out to Max. And Max looks at it and he, he sees it. Max is a great trader, a really, really terrific trader, one of the better traders in our desk. And then Max is on a headset and tells Nano and Arman, who are also uh, successful traders, and Raf's on the call. I think Raf is on the call too, and he's hearing it. And so this junior trader spotted something in the marketplace that helped all these other traders who make a lot more money, admittedly, than this trader make a ton of money and coin because he saw something. And that's an example of SEBI adding value. So, and there's lots of different ways to add value, but that's just one way, share a good idea. Senior traders don't have a monopoly on spotting the really good trades in the marketplace. Senior traders want to increase their bandwidth for good ideas. Help them do that. 
maybe you see somebody online, send them a tweet. Maybe you're in a Discord chat. Share a trade idea. People are going to notice. Network like Raph. So Raph's one of the really great success stories at SMB. Um, multiple eight-figure a year trader as well. And one of the things that you'll recognize about Raf is that he doesn't just network with people inside the firm. He networks with people outside the firm as well. He did before he came to SMB, he does now. His network is not just the great talent we have inside this firm. And so if Raf, who's this eight figure a year trader, takes the time to make new contacts outside of the firm and figures out how to do that, which generally just means send somebody a DM, find somebody's email address, tweet at them, find somebody who knows them. I mean, there, there are solutions to this, okay? Know somebody who knows somebody. You can too. And I'll say this. Sometimes people are shy about getting turned down by somebody they reach out to. Who cares if somebody says no? Who cares if somebody doesn't respond? To your emails. I've sent plenty of emails. I still send emails where people don't respond to me. It, 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 there's going to be people that there's going to be people that respond to you and you're going to make great friendships and have awesome collaborations with throughout the years and there's going to be some people that just aren't interested and that's fine. It, it's it, there's no loss to you for somebody who you don't know who doesn't respond. It, it's it's part of the business. We all do it. One of the great things we started doing recently here, by the way, is we have these easy money trade reviews. So at the end of the month, we go over the easiest trades from the month. Guys get together at the end of the month and they review them. They display them. They go over charts. They talk about them. It's a very effective best practice. That's something that you can do with your trading colleagues. That's something that you can organize and get people starting to see the best trades that's going to spur more conversation amongst yourselves about future trades like this. That's going to improve the dialogue between your trading colleagues, your friends. All right, copy this best practice. A daily report card feedback. One of the things we do on our desk is we share our daily report cards with each other. And then junior traders, senior traders can comment, partners can comment back to each other. You can do this with your buddies as well. Share your DRC with them. Have them share their DRC with you. Give that person feedback. Let them give you feedback. Lots of people are, are on Discord sharing trading ideas. Join a Discord chat. There's a ton out there. Don't tell me that you can't find one. I, it would probably take me three minutes to find one. You can find one. Use Google. All right. Look on Twitter. They're, they're out there. Use them to share ideas. Use them to understand how good traders are thinking through trades or up and coming traders who are going to be good at thinking through trades. Some of our guys on our desk watch tape together. They watch the best trades. They watch them back. They learn a lot from each other. They talk to each other. But the idea is for you to have your own team, for you to build the team. And just to give you some guidance, a good team looks like this. There's somebody who's an expert in technology or responsible for the technology being built for the team. Idea generation. There's usually multiple people sharing really good, hey, let's look at this trade. This is a potential winner. Execution. Who's best at actually executing the trades? A good team has good researchers. A good team has good leaders, somebody who just keeps the group together. Very common for a team to go through a lull. You need somebody who keeps the team up, keeps the team focused, keeps the team not worrying about a drawdown, which is inevitable, but looking forward and excited about the next opportunities that you're all going to trade together in markets. Experience. It's helpful to have a senior trader who's seen trades before who can say, this has a lot more upside, guys, than you guys are thinking. Like, let's try and hold this trade. Let's try and hold some of our position here. Like, this, this can really go up a lot. 
this news in the semis, this is real. Like, let's get in, let's, let's put a little bit more risk on, let's hold this a little bit longer. That makes people more money. And then energy. It's always good to have people on the team who are uh, keeping you laughing and keeping your energy up. And that has nothing, you notice that, that has nothing to do with trading. There's lots of different ways you can contribute to a team. So that's, when I'm thinking about a team, those are the aspects that I want to see on a, on a good team here at SMB. Technology, idea generation, execution, research, leadership, experience, and energy. I hope we've given you something to think about. This may be the difference if you embrace this challenge to think differently between you really making it as a trader, you really become a, cons a consistently profitable trader, you really contributing to the trading community, or as I said, failing fabulously. From all of us at SMB, train and trade well. So you're an active trader, not doing as well as you want, not doing as well as you deserve, and you just can't figure out why you can't become profitable no matter how hard you try. Well, let me show you why. This is your competition, the traders in this room. This room right here is full of elite traders, some of whom are making seven and even eight figures a year. In fact, our top guys have made nearly 20 million each in net trading profits in a single year. Let's head to my office so I can share more. So you're probably used to seeing videos of lavish trader lifestyles, trading gurus, trading off of the laptop for an hour a day, heck, maybe even 15 minutes a day, and then them relaxing on some secluded beach for the rest of the day. Well, all I can tell you is that our traders train like pro athletes. They live and breathe the markets and are continually working on their trading skills. Because at our firm, that's what we found it really takes to make it in this game. I'm Mike Bellafieri, co-founder and managing partner of SMB Capital, one of the world's top proprietary trading firms located in Midtown Manhattan. And we're always looking for trading talent to hire and develop. And not just to trade in-house on our desk, but also to trade from their own home, entirely using our firm's capital. And we have numerous traders doing just that, allowing them to make upwards of seven figures trading the firm's capital without risking their own money. But to even get a shot at something like that, you need to have the right training. That's why we're doing a new free online presentation in which we share how you can get an interview with SMB to become an in-house or remote trader, trading firm capital without risking yours and gaining access to all of our firm's coaching and resources. And the best part, you don't have to be a profitable trader yet. In fact, we prefer to mold profitable traders with our methods and our techniques. That's why we have just three simple criteria that can earn anyone an interview. We're looking for highly ambitious and determined traders who fit our culture first and foremost. So if you believe that could be you, sign up for the free one hour online presentation by clicking the link that's in your top right corner of your screen now.